Sorry about the leaf blowers, folks, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. This video is going to cover inner VLAN routing with a Layer 3 managed switch that supports IP routing. We're going to go into Packet Tracer and we're going to pull out a 3650 switch that does support IP routing. We're going to pull out two more 26 or 2960s that do not, but they certainly do support VLANs and a couple client computers. All right, we're going to do two VLANs. We're going to do VLAN 20 on 192.168.20.x slash 24. And we will do VLAN 10 on 192.168.10.x slash 24. And I'm going to wire everything up. It'll be G1 and G2 on the 3650, it'll be G1 and G1 on the 2960, and then it will be FA1 and FA1 to the PCs. Okay, I'm going to go to switch one and power it up. And we'll come back after it's finished booting. All right, we're done there. We're going to no on the configuration dialog, and we're going to go to enable mode, and then we're going to go to configuration mode. Now, um, a lot of the materials will have you do um, specify VLANs like this. Uh, there is a, a tip here. So I'm going to do my IP routing to get that started. And then I'm just going to do int VLAN 10. All right, what's going to happen is it'll save me actually creating VLAN 10. It'll just do it on the fly. So I'm going to do IP address 192.168.10.1255, so 24-bit subnet mask. I'm going to do int VLAN 20, IP address. there that's created if we do a do show run IP routing is enabled and we'll see that we have two VLANs uh, in testing I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure how flexible it is but on the safe side I would just do VLAN 10 and then VLAN commands uh, again I don't know so now that we got our VLANs made we have the virtual interfaces addressed we need to associate physical interfaces so we're gonna go int g1 slash 01 that's going to be accessing VLAN 10 so switch port access VLAN 10 and there we go and then we're gonna do int g10 slash to switch port access VLAN 20. There we go. Now you'll probably start seeing some messages about uh, some VLAN mismatching, and that's okay because we haven't configured our 2960 switches as of yet. So we're going to do a do show run. And again, IP routing. Now we see that our interface is in VLAN 10, our other interface is in VLAN 20. And we have our IP address. And there we go. We've got our native VLAN mismatch, and that's fine. I'm going to go to the 2960 switch 1, CLI, EN, conf T. And again, we're going to go um, int. And we don't have to do this on these switches. We could just do VLAN 10. Or we could do int VLAN 10 and actually assign the VLAN on this, an actual 192.168.10.2, um, you know, whatever. And that's fine. So what we're going to do for right now is uh, we're going to go and we're just going to do VLAN 10. That's fine. Got that. We're going to do int g0 slash 1, and that's going to be switch port, and you'll see this, access VLAN 10 and int FA01 switch port access VLAN 10. So 
On these switches, you just need to put the ports into the VLAN 10. They do not need to be actually assigned an IP address to pass traffic. The actual designation of being in the VLAN will make that happen because it's layer 2. I'm going to go to my PC. I'm going to my config. Our gateway is going to be 192.168.10.1. Go 192.168.10.3. Go desktop, command prompt, ping 1, and we're live. I go to this switch, I go to CLI, we got our mismatch, and that's fine. EN, conf T, VLAN 20, ENT, G0 slash 1, switch port access. VLAN 10. Sorry. Exit VLAN 20. Int G0 slash 1. Switch port. Access VLAN 20. Int F 0 slash 1. Just up arrow for that a couple times. Go to this PC, and you'll see it'll bring the interfaces up here in a second. Settings. Subnet mask will go in there. Command prompt ping. Okay, this should be pinging. Maybe we have a configuration error. Entirely possible. There we go. All right. So I thought I had the configuration up right, and we do. So now I'm going to ping 192.168.10.3, I believe is what I had to set for. And there we go. We got end-to-end. -end. 